Zaner is a uh, architectural engineering, manufacturing, and construction firm. We work on some of the most fantastic projects ever constructed in the world. The projects such as Peterson Automotive Museum, the Chrysalis in the DC area. One of the biggest challenges I think we have is convincing our clients that these projects are buildable. In Dassault Systems, 3D Experience allows us to develop these three-dimensional forms, gives them a level of comfort that there is no risk. The Dassault Systems and the 3D Experience platform allows us to communicate openly and honestly and very transparently with the clients that are more actively involved in the beginning of the project all the way to the ones at the end of the project. I really believe that utilizing the 3D Experience platform could be a huge game changer for the AEC industry. The way that we work with contractors and architects and subcontractors is going to be really shaped and developed by this software. And this software is giving us tools to interact with them on a much closer basis. The Chrysalis Project, it's a band shell that's being built in the Washington, D.C. area. It's 70 feet tall, 100 feet by 50 feet roughly. Zaner is doing everything from the concrete up. Because it's not a standard building product, there's not a catalog that somebody goes to and picks out the chrysalis. So one important thing that we always try and do is describe to the customer really early on what they're going to be getting from us at the end of the day. The 3D Experience platform helps us do that. So at Zaner, we like to push the envelope. The reason we chose Chrysalis as kind of our flagship project for 3D Experience is partially timing, but more so the complexity of the project and the amount of coordination that, that it's going to take to, to get this thing done. The Chrysalis stage has no walls. So navigating yourself around the building is challenging. With 3D Experience, you're able to actually bring everybody to the site and rotate it around and identify the specific area that's of question or concern and get the right people focused on it. The cloud-based nature of the 3D experience is pretty revolutionary. We've used the dashboards on this project to basically be our touch point for providing information to the customer as we're doing design work, as we're getting drawings from our outside consultants. We've been posting that as kind of mini stories. A company like Zaner and really the AEC industry in general are pushing the envelope on designs whether it be designs due to the artistic nature of the exteriors to designs that incorporate modern technologies on how to heat a building. You're going to have to have an effective collaboration platform. With the 3D Experience platform, we're giving visibility to what we're thinking, what we're designing. The projects that we're doing today couldn't have been done 20 years ago. 3D Experience makes it possible. And one of the biggest changes, I think, in the future are going to be the dynamic aspect, kinetic aspect of facades or of other constructs. It's going to be how they're going to change in shape. And 3D experience is going to allow you to predict that and know what it's going to do, know what sort of forces are going to be extended to that shape as it's moving. And it does it in such a way that it's going to open up avenues to the design community and fabrication community to do some really amazing things. Mm -hmm.